Hi friends, in this digital age, e-commerce portals are on high demand. At this channel, DGCN, we are exploring ready to use scripts through which you can create a digital, digital asset to start your SaaS business. In this video, we are focusing to overview a Laravel multi-vendor e-commerce script. You can create a multi-vendor or single use, single portal for e-commerce and start selling online or you can offer the complete solution to your prospective clients if you are a developer or running a development form. So you don't need to code anything. You are going to get all these things ready to use and you can simply start a portal using the script that we are going to overview. This is the portal and I can show you some of the pages and the script that we are going to overview is called Parmat. I will definitely let you know more about this Parmat script. In the video, I am going to show you different screens through different logins where you can explore what exactly you are going to receive with this script and how you can start your online store or for you know, set a store for your client. So this is a complete portal and you can see a product listing page and internal pages are also well available and the shop can show all the products, unlimited products in fact, like Flipkart, Amazon or any big portal, you can also create an e-commerce portal and you can start running a single vendor shop online shop or multi vendor so let us go to the admin panel so that i may show you what is actually available inside the script that we are overweighing okay so this is the dashboard of the portal e-commerce and through this dashboard you can set your restore completely without any technical knowledge yes you just need to install the script properly and for Installing the script, we are here to help you. you. You just need to buy the script through the description link given in the video. I'll tell you where you can buy and how we can help you in installation and all such things. So let us first overview the features. So platform administration is the first part that we can overview. This is the dashboard. It is showing the total orders, product and basic uh, reports type thing. What is going inside the portal like how many visitors, sessions, page view and uh, the most widget pages and all the reports in a crisp and to the point format. So this is super admin. Uh, assume you are being the owner of this portal. So you are going to be super admin. For platform administration, we can set the rules and permissions at the portal so that we may decide which user can have the rules and what we can further give them permissions to access on the portal like this is the super admin and we can edit the rules and get the uh, super admin has all the access like ads analytics and all such things further if we want to create a duplicate user we can duplicate here and we can create new users as well as per our requirement with the permission that we want. So like this is a user and this is an activated user and you, we can make this user as super user or we can decide the permissions as well. So you can see the details of this user here and uh, user password can be handled. In the role and permission section, first we can decide which role can be assigned to which type of user like username can be written here and description can be mentioned and uh, the default toggle is here. The same permission will be applicable to all next users and all permissions you can grant at once or you can have a selective permissions for users. It is a very important thing because you are going to create a single vendor or multi vendor system and you can handle the user permissions. It is really very important 
to decide the roles and permissions for users. System information is going to give you a brief idea what servers are being used, what are the versions that have been used in the system and what are the Laravel or Thinker versions like uh, Wikimedia Composer plugin and all. So, so all the technical specifications can be seen here and you can go to the next page as well. So these are the details of server and what environment is being used for the installation and all. Cache management is basically for optimizing the speed. You can handle the cache, clear the cache and replace the complete views and config cache, root cache, etc. You can decide here and handle here. Activity log is another important thing from the perspective if you are a super admin, what is being updated inside the system and by which we user can be seen here. So all the details can be seen here and further the details will be visible what are the details and all. Backups is part for creating backups so that you may generate and download the backups time to time uh, from the system for the system so that just in case uh, for any disaster in the system you can restore the backups. Cleanup system is a tool through which you can create clean up the activities Please choose and ignore tables. It is basically for database cleanup. If database is going uh, to be cluttered, it is going to make your system slow. So you can schedule cleanup activities time to time as per your, your requirement and you can decide what cleanup activity you want to do. Like these are the numbers and it is showing the records, how many records are there. But you have to be very careful while cleaning up the system. It is advised to take a uh, database backup before you run the cleanup wizards. Next is the system operator. In case any update comes for the uh, script, you can update the system and the, you can even reinstall the latest version of system on a single click. So all these features are for super admin. So it is for handling the platform. Next, I'm going to show you the pages and rest of things what is available in the system how you can handle the complete portal like this is dashboard again pages you can create and add and even language can be decided so like coming soon career page affiliate cookie policy all pages can be edited or created here and you can edit the page information by clicking on edit link so you can put the sort code or the emails and the editor you can use the you can add media as well and further you can decide the permalink and change the permalink and you can even check the revision history so language as I said you can decide here and you can even select the primary image for the page so it is very very easy to use further Blog sections can be handled for showing the blogs at your portal and you can add a new blog or edit the existing blogs using this interface. And like posts are, post are here, categories and you can decide the tags for blog. Since it is an e-commerce portal and you are running the portal for earning purposes, the ads is going to be integral part of the portal and the ads can be handled from this ad section you can create ads and decide where to place the ads like edit related language for this record and these are the parameters through you which you can edit the ad and open in new tab can be decided and the url of ad and you can set the ads that is visible on the system FAQ, similarly FAQ, new letters and other parts are here. You can edit the contents of your portal. In the e-commerce part, this is basically the main part of the system. You can get the report. What is the revenue of the system? What products, what are the status of products and all. So these are basically reports and you can check drill down reports by clicking on the respective links what you want to see like this is a product and what are the total income sub amount and how many amount how many 
products has been sold because it can be a multi vendor so it is important to get all the reports for the products so how many products are there is it increasing or decreasing what is the revenue status and all flash sales you can run throughout the portal for increasing the sales and uh, igniting the sales activity like winter sale can be created and further you can create a new sales for a specific product or for multiple product at a time so you can search the product for which you can you wish to run the ad and you can set the end date and further deal will be activated for that particular product orders like other e-commerce system can be seen on this screen how many orders from which date what is the revenue who is the customer and also all details can be seen here just by clicking on this link and we can further check the details or indeed the order details as well like free delivery global store global store means the main store and you can decide the further stores so it is again invoice is here delivery status order was confirmed the payment status this is basically for order and for the refund can be issued from this single link so history of this order can be seen here and you can update the shipping status from this screen as well it is really simple invoices can be generated for the orders like this is one of the invoice i am going to show you like this invoice number the order number okay sorry the order number was there so i am going to show you the completed invoice so this is one of the invoice for order the invoice can be printed or downloaded as per requirement invoice templates can be set like this can be different templates uh, and we can use the templates for creating invoices uh, so html and the preview options are here so just in case if you want to check how the invoice is looking so it can be seen here in another tab incomplete orders is just a, another feature uh, like report like thing so that you may understand the order status which remain incomplete due to any reason so you can edit the incomplete record and export the details of incomplete reports order returns is also a part of e-commerce system nowadays because once order gets complete there might be possible returns and return request so you can handle the returns status here and you can reload the data since there is no data it is not showing anything but it, this system works fine products again products you have to upload from here the as i said you can upload the any number of products and you can edit the product details language and all so you can add add many add products you need like physical and digital products two um, type of products has been given in this portal so if you are running a digital store you can upload only digital products and it will work like a digital download system so you can upload the digital products like i'll show you this is what of the screen where we can upload the digital product product name description and you can add media and content further content images and the sku price so the uh, units can be decided in the settings don't worry attachment and the product options the global options at global options are here and the related products search and then optimize and all such we can do so generate license key can be handled it is important for digital products like generate license key after purchasing the product you can decide yes or no so write storehouse management barcode and all Similarly, the product uh, e-commerce and the e-commerce section, the product, and further, the physical products can be created. I'll show you the screen, and this is one of the physical product screen, and all the details are almost similar, but it is just a physical product, so downloadable products should not be listed here. And now I'm showing you the products. 
it's one of the listed products how it is listed in the system like this is a sauce bottle and I'm going to show you like this is the product and large green bell paper and this is the description of the product and the permalink other details of the product images and the variants like a product has variants variant can be added three boxes five boxes or you can edit the variants and as many uh, add as many variants is required or VAT is required so you can apply the VAT and the cross sell products can be decided and the FAQ product FAQ and you can further add a new product from this screen as well and you can make a duplicate of course so this is a very simple way to list the product so it is nothing like technical now next is the product options like this is the product options screen where you can decide like cpu ready this is basically for uh, digital products and it is totally up to you how you want to use this product like these are the options like we uh, set variables uh, and variants on the product that can be mapped with a particular product this is this is like product attribute as we use in the wordpress so it is put it up you can consider it product attributes similarly you can create product categories and all like how many products categories are here and how many products are listed in these categories and you can keep adding the categories so this is the complete mapping of product the the master category and the subcategory and so it is totally totally configurable so this is a wonderful tree structure of the product and its category so you can use these uh, categories and further you can add a new category at per requirement like this is the create a screen where you can add, create the and you can select the parents and you can show and hide the categories as per your requirement uh, next i'll show you the product tags so this is main thing so e-commerce portal in a e-commerce portal product is the main thing so you have to take care of all these things tags are basically helpful for seo and all so you can create as many tag similarly product attributes type are here so I, I was discussing so you can decide the attributes like boxes weight size and color so like variation attributes i have already shown you it this is exactly an attribute you can decide the colors you can edit the attribute inside the attribute like these are different colors and you can use the visual searches at per uh, color available searchable and comparable and do it in the product listing so it is a very very comprehensive screen next i can show you the brands the brand that you are selling on the portal you can decide here different brands can be listed here product collections as a thing like a special offers wish senders and new arrival you can set here product labels and so the label that you want to show in the cross like this is the product labels i can show you just for example this is new label is here so you can set like labels here this is new okay so you can further edit the label size for your requirement reviews for products these are the reviews and you can edit the reviews view the reviews and even you can delete the reviews as per your choices as you want to show on your portal shipping is again an integral part so you can configure the shipo or the all different shipping vendor and you can decide the rest of the things so as you need shipments these are the shipments or what what are in transit or you can decide like shipment details are here view order number these are the shipments and uh, free delivery or all these things like tracking link is here so for shipment details tracking id as it may be available on the portal so you have to update all the details and these are the shipment information that can be updated through the system
In the next screen, you can decide the discount. If you want to run a discount or coupon code, you can create in the discount section. Further, you can see the customer list. The customer who earlier bought any product from your portal can be seen here so that you may run the promotion according to their choices. Taxes, you can set as applicable for your country in your area or that you want to collect. The basic settings as I said you can decide the basic things like you can set the store name the phone the address of your product and the like extended and format like a start with end with and the uniting and measuring unit and all so the currency that you want to run so it is very important you can run simultaneously in multiple currency you can set new currencies here like if you are turning the product in India, you can add INR from this link and further as so store locator is here. So you can set all the basic things from this screen. This is available here. So under basic settings, under advanced setting, you can go for the things that is like sitting a shopping cart, enable shopping cart or compare or all the features like order tracking you can enable disable here and auto confirm order enable review so the system can be handled like uh, which countries you can decide here and for all the system it is going to be global and you can upload the logo under it so this is for system settings and also you have to handle this area very carefully because it is going to impact the overall system of course you are an administrator so you know all these things and this is the tracking settings so uh, if you want to enable the Facebook pixel you can enable it from there next is the marketplace for different vendors like multi reports are here stores withdrawals and vendors that are onboarded on the system so different vendors can be on board and you can enable and disable vendors and you can create vendors in the system and all so is vendor details and all further like i so this is a broad system so you hit the video might be boring for you but yes i am willing to show you all the screen that is available inside the system further you can go for marketplace settings so this is a screen for marketplace settings like Default commissions. So, if you are uh, running and multi vendors, so you can set the d commission here because you are the super admin and you are going to on through your vendors as well. So, you can set all these things. Maximum upload you can decide, and the uh, store phone number uh, can be hidden, and the store email can be hidden. So, it is all in your control because you are going to be super admin. Simple sliders you can use for showing at the system like home slider you can decide and you can edit the slider elements from this screen contact information like the other contact information and that you can see at the system that is available payments is another part and you can see all the payments here and further which uh, payment gateway or channel has been used digit pay pay cash paypal or bank transfer and further you can decide the payment method here so you can configure the stripe paypal reserve pay and the pay stack so all major payment gateways are available here if you are just in case if you are using the razor pay you can edit the razor pay details here like api and all such details can be placed here and you can simply place the key and the razor pay will be active without any additional configuration so it is very simple to use locations is the next screen where you can decide in which locations your store is going to be functions countries states and cities and the import location further media you can decide here so you can download the stores and the generals all media can be accessed here so like these are the media items that is available so this is basically media section of the portal appearance you can decide here you can decide the theme how your uh, portal is going to be visible and the menus you can decide so only one theme was available so this is why it was written in an error widgets the theme options 
widgets you can like simple menu text and you can decide the widgets that you want to display at your system for the theme options are here you can change the theme options to your requirement as well next uh, is the custom css you can use in the system and the custom js if required and you can use additional plugins to the system like ads and the analytics audit log captcha blog and we got some plugins that you can simply integrate with the system and the paypal the pay stack the, these are the plugins basically nala web plugins ledger pay payment gateways and all so these plugins can be directly integrated uh, to the system however it has been by default <laughs> these all things has been integrated integrated and further you can deactivate or remove the plugins translation is a part where you can decide for language and the setting this is the general setting that you can go with the theme i mean the platform so you can keep the license active admin logo and all these basic settings email settings through which the system will communicate and you can decide the domain this is the main area where you have to decide the domain the domain you decide here um, is going to be your portal name and you have to upload the elements of this script in this domain directory so it is very clear and the language is so i have already shown you permalink you can decide and the quan job you can set here so this is all about the admin area of this portal and i must tell you now which is the script this is so this is a farmart single or multi vendor laravel e-commerce system that you can avail through the video description link and it is well available on the codecanyon.net but if you are following the description link for buying the product we are going to help you in setting up your store online so the support will be free from our side and let us move forward for different login so i have already shown you the super admin and now i am going to show you the different login now this is customer screen i mean the customer can see all these details and they can search the products throughout the portal and they can overview the address and list of the things profile can be seen by the customers the order that has been made by the customers and the product reviews list if the digital downloads are here in the order return request so this is a complete interface for customer because customer are going to be the main part and through which you are generating the in income and customers has all the privilege all the access that they need for ordering at the portal so this is complete uh, dashboard of the customer and the products can be seen here ah, okay so this is the vendor screen i'm so sorry so if uh, uh customer as vendor as well so this is the vendor screen and the vendor screen is showing the basic details of the system for the vendor and the products that it is being sold by the vendor particularly orders that has been received so this is particularly for a single vendor or the respective vendors for which the products or the user has been assigned coupons with all reviews and all such things so customer vendors and the super admin and the portal in the farmer pillars you can set the portal name at your own and this is a complete portal for e-commerce activities using laravel scripts so i believe this video remained helpful in understanding all the features that is available with the script that is called farmart single or multi vendor laravel e-commerce system and you can use this script you can buy this script and don't worry for installation because we are going to install all the things for you on your hosting or we can even arrange a hosting for you so just assume you are going to be a super admin of this store you are going to start your saas business or e-commerce 
and it is definitely uh, under hundred dollar solution and you will be definitely start your earning using this portal so it is a good idea to have digital asset now a 